Laureano. How do you want to go about it? That would be a smoke to left field. And that baby's gone. And Adrian Sampson is all over Mo Laureano. Home plate. Where'd you hit this ball? On the barrel? On the barrel. Got it. So both benches are warned. Ooh, inside. We got Loriano. Uh-oh. And Loriano feels like that was intentional. And here come both benches. Uh, he's understanding. Frustration from Laureano. That ball continuing to climb up. Here is Foy, maybe the one. <laughs> so this is the Rangers bench. Well, and, and I'll tell you right now, you see how they're reacting, how the Rangers bench is reacting. They understand. They get what's going on here. The open process, and it does appear that Rafael Montero has been ejected from the game. All right, so Montero has been. Something about what Contreras did after the homer. I've never seen Tyler Flowers take his mask off. Contreras now pointing at Julio Turan, who has to be restrained by driven to right, and that's big trouble. Into the well goes Marquez. It is gone. One nothing Chicago. Tehran tried to quick pitch him, and Contreras was ready. Oh, and Tyler Flowers and to Contreras. Contreras to right. Marquez watches it go. A basket shot. Number 16 for Contreras. Flowers Contreras now having some words here at home plate. As soon as Contreras hit the home run, watching the replay, he turned around and said something. Baseline all the way back to the mound. I, I'm not sure what was said, but something was said around that. But I was watching Wilson and not watching Tehran. The and home plate umpire, John Tum umpire, or the catcher, Flowers. It could be both. It could be could be a conversation that Contreras had with John Tum Payne. Flowers said something along with it. The pitch before the home run. He thinks it's down. Maybe uh -huh. Flowers. Instantly into right and right center field. Yeah. Tim crushes this ball. He throws the bat. The ball goes flying. It is gone. Two nothing socks. The ball was majestic. Tim crushes this ball. He throws the bat. Tim crushes this ball. He throws the bat. The ball goes flying. It is gone. Two nothing socks. Tim crushes this ball. He throws the bat. The ball goes flying. It is gone. And a no doubter. Well, this one went a long way. Bob. That's a high fastball. He gets every bit of it. Runs, and the Royals tied it. And Maldonado gets right in Anderson's face after Kellum Keller drills him with the first pitch. And here we go. Somebody. Ned Yost is being called over. Good job by the umpires to break it up before it got really ugly. They're going to talk it over. Well, somewhere in this sequence, Tim's going to wind up stealing second base and eventually. I think most players, when they react like Anderson did, will say afterwards, I didn't mean anything toward Keller. I just. Some guys are competing with the pitcher. Some guys are competing. And get thrown out of the game for it? That's insane. 
And Dietrich admiring that one. He is homered for the second time against the Pirates this year. That one way out of here. I think he hit that one further than Frazier hit his. Yeah. I personally chance. have been thrown out of a game for throwing any players. So they, they don't have to give you a warning. They can just throw you out if they feel like that you purposely threw at somebody. As he crossed home plate the first time around. And of course, a pitch comes in at him, and Archer's going to be warned. Uh, Archer apparently has a problem with it. And David Bell saying, well, why warn him? And he's going to add to both of those totals. Wow. Almost the same place, and that might have gone to the river on the fly. Fernandez, left field, it's deep, it is good, he got it, the kid in his last game. Well, Fernandez finally hits a home run. Hudson from third. And then I think McCann is just trying to say a kid 21 year old things during that sequence. Chris Johnson's from a, a big. So he watched it. And that may have set Johnson off even more. Carlos Gomez up in the two spot tonight. And he hits that one high and deep left center field way back and gone. Carlos Gomez standing there watching the baseball. And now things at Gomez. I think the first one came from McCann. Now you hear him tell him a few expletives and telling Gomez to run. And it sounded like Mahalam and Gomez just standing there watching it, and that's uh, something that's kind of starts chirping. And as Gomez comes around the bases, Brian McCann standing there waiting for him, and that's when it was on at that point. Mark is lit. I think Brian McCann and Freddie Freeman are doing all the talking. And then Gomez. And McCann getting fake. Freddie Freeman joins in with Paul Mahalam as they shout at Gomez around the bases. And Brian McCann, Mahalam, and Freddie Freeman very upset with Carlos Gomez. And check out McCann. Check this out. Fly ball to deep left field. Kemp back. Kemp running out of room. Home run. Jose Bautista. His third hit of the night and his sixth home run on the season. Fly ball to deep left field. Kemp back. Kemp running out of room. Home run. Jose Bautista. And now, Joe, he's having words with the catcher, Kurt Suzuki. May have had something to do with a bat flip, ironically. There's a lot of emotion. May have remembered that right cross from Odor and just. That's him. Just the frustration for Strick. Thankfully, nothing comes of it. Infante was running around the bases. Sounds at the plate after Strickland just gave up his fifth home run of this postseason. Deep drive to left. Junior late gets the Cubs on the board. It's gone. Exactly what we were talking about. Good swing of the bat, though. You see, they're up on the rail and they're getting after him. Bother him, but the bottom line is it does bother some people. So you have to, if you're going to do it, you have to realize they're real thrilled with it. And Real Muto had something to say to him when he came home. There, he's hearing it from the Marlins dugout as well. The walk. 
And uh, Real Muto giving it to Junior Lake, who took a long time uh -oh. staring at that one. We had him with Castro here the other night. So we're going to need to pop one here to make this interesting. It's a two run home run for Lake. The Cubs down four now in the six. Rizzo works. For